Hi there, and welcome to the past paper questions 12 video on bipartite graphs and matching uh, an introduction to these topics. This is for the Edexcel Decision 1 Maths A level board, but should be applicable to most other decision maths modules. For more help with your math studies, GCSE or A level, see uh, Hegarty Maths or the website. Now, in this session, I'm just going to show you one question um, that came up in January 2012, but I just wanted to show you that um, it come uh, the definitions that you're required to know do come up as parts of questions. So let's take a look. Right, here was the question, a simple definition, but four marks available. So make sure you know your definitions from my last tutorial. What was a bipartite graph? What is a matching? Pause the video, make sure you try and write down the answers to these to get your full four marks, in 10 seconds I'll show you the answer. Okay, so a bipartite graph, a couple of things you had to mention. The first thing, you had to say it consisted of sets of vertices or nodes X and Y, and the edges or arcs join the vertices or nodes in X to the vertices or nodes in Y. You don't have to write vertices and nodes each time, just make sure you're consistent with your definition. Same with edges or arcs, use one of the words. But that only got you one mark. You had to state something else to get your second mark. And the something else was the vertices or nodes within a set cannot be connected with an edge or an arc. You can't connect the nodes in X to each other. So that's what you needed for your two marks. And part B, let's take a look at the answer. A matching is the one-to-one -one pairing of some or all of the elements of one set of vertices X with the elements of a second set of vertices Y. And to get your two marks there, you had to talk about the one-to-one -one pairing um, and then you had to say some or all of the elements of X with, with um, some or all the elements of Y. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show you. These definitions do come up, but that's the only question I wanted to go through in this section. I hope you found this useful in your revision for Decision Maths 1. Do tune in for the next video, um, which will be tutorial 13, where we talk about matchings in more details. Thank you for watching.